Hey guys, Mobile Mike here from the Gadget Gurus podcast. I'm just going to do a quick uh, overview slash review of the iTunes remote application for the Palm Pre. Uh, it's available in the Palm catalog and it's $4.95. So let's uh, let's take a look. First things first with the with the app. Um, I know there's a couple of reviews. Uh, people were confused. There actually is two apps. One that goes on your phone and then one that runs on your computer screen also. Um, so this, this is the application for the phone and I'm going to swing the camera around so you can take a look at the computer here. Uh, you'll have an iTunes helper, or iTunes remote helper, which is the application and of course that's free so it's it runs on Mac or PC um, and what this does is it links the uh, app on the Palm Pre with the iTunes account. Uh, another neat thing is if you have an Apple TV or you have multiple libraries uh, it can handle that as well so you use the same remote app for both libraries so that's that's pretty sweet um, well, I'm just going to minimize that I've already connected it to iTunes but it's very easy you know to set up pairing it basically will just give you a passcode you type that in on your phone and boom you're done so it's it's very simple to do um, I'll even show you here swing the camera back around down on the pre and we're going to just launch launch it right there and it auto pairs so if you've already typed in the password at one point or another it's automatically going to pair up you don't have to repair it which is very nice um, but it's also nice if you want to move it to a different library you don't have to mess around with you know codes and and this and that it's just a you know, pretty simple click um, over here on the left you've got your playlist button you've got your uh, shuffle button, your loop buttons, and then you also have your IMDB which is pretty neat if you're watching a movie or a TV show and you click that it's going to automatically take you to a search uh, search page of IMDB for that particular show. Um, so that's kind of neat if you're trying to get I guess information about the movie or whatever you're watching. Um, but let's take a look at playlists here. So it's got all the, all your different playlists. Now um, I've been chit chatting back and forth with the developer of this application. Um, there is some inconsistencies with playlists. For example, uh, it does not show uh, in iTunes. You know, you have your music, movies, TV shows, podcasts, audio books, and you know everything else. Um, it does not show TV shows or podcasts for some reason. It shows my movies, uh, and it shows you know all my created playlists, but it, it does not show TV shows. Uh, and podcasts. Now if you go under all music it will. Uh, it does have everything and you can you know search through it manually. Uh, a couple couple problems I've run into is one um, if you have a substantial library the app does get a little um, what's the word? It, it's, it basically it stutters a little bit almost. It, it, it kinda gets unresponsive um, once you load a large large library. But once the lo library is you know, loaded, it, everything works okay, but it, it can get a little stuttery here and there. So this is my entire library here, and you can see it's kind of, it's already kind of starting to stutter out a little bit. Um, you can, of course, swipe back. Uh, it's still trying to load. Oh, there we go. Okay, so let's go back to playlists here. Um, one neat thing is I'm a big Apple TV junkie, so this works great for my movies. There we go. Open up movies here. Sorry, I'm trying to do this at an angle, so <laughs> it's a little difficult to see what I'm tapping on. Um, once it opens up your movies here, I'm just going to pick, uh, you know, Adventureland, for example. And the other gripe that I have is after you start playing something it doesn't automatically take you back to the just uh, general remote you actually have to swipe back and get to the remote so I'd like if you click it and you started to play something it would just take you back to this right here um, and then if I'm gonna swing the camera around so you can see on the computer there it is there's Adventureland playing right there so it's um, you know you can scrub through it if you'd like which is pretty cool uh, you, know, you get your your time bar scrubber here so if you want to fast forward um, it'll it'll fast forward you know through the movie and it's very very responsive um, one thing I found is it, it actually is more responsive when scrubbing than the uh, remote application on the iPhone uh, the, the iPhone application of course I'm sure it's gonna get 
you know, compared to that, it, it gives you more options like viewing artists, and of course it links up with Apple TV a lot easier, but um, I, I found that for a first run application, this has got a lot of potential, and I like it a, I like it a lot, especially a big Apple TV user like myself. So um, that's pretty much the gist of it. You guys can check out the full written review over at mobilemike one uh, dot com <laughs> almost forgot my blog address there uh, uh definitely take a listen to uh, the gadget gurus podcast on itunes also uh, if you guys have any questions you, you can shoot them on twitter it's uh, twitter.com slash mobile mic zero one thanks and i'm gonna cut the rest of this out because i don't know what i'm saying